Lake Altoona, they call it the Dead Sea, but is it really dead? I don't know, let's talk about it. Hey guys, Ryan here. Got my buddy Nathan Skinner What's here up, with everyone? me. We're going to talk about Lake Altoona. It's got a reputation of being called the Dead Sea, nope. but is it really the Dead Sea? That's a real big topic of conversation lately, especially here in the North Georgia area. Nathan, what is Alatuna to you? Is it the Dead Sea? Is it a live sea? What oh, is it? What's going on with it? What's your opinion? I love Alatuna is what I love. I love it because people think it's the Dead Sea, and so they don't fish it as much as Lanier gets fish, and so it leaves more fishing for me. Right? Yeah. Okay. Um, there's I, one thing about Alatuna, no matter what, though. I know that people talk about being the Dead Sea, but there's no doubt about it. You go to Alatuna, you're going to catch fish. Yeah, I think that Alatuna recently, in the past decades really become known for white bass and stripers wipers hybrids um is really good crappie fishery mm -hmm. um and so i think when people refer to it the dead sea you're mainly dealing with the green fish guys yeah. you know chasing after largies and in spots and i think that is f the furthest thing from the truth no I, yeah. I i totally agree with that all we got to do is look at the late summer starting back in the late summer coming into now currently it yeah. seems like every single week there is like a seven plus pound largemouth yeah. weighed in. Yep. You are seeing bags right now coming out of Lake, Lake Alatoona, five fish limits on the Sunday trails and the Tuesday trails and stuff like that. 17, 18, 19 pounds. Yeah. You know, just recently, just a couple of weeks ago, I think it took 18 pounds yeah. just to get you're the seeing, money. You're seeing people catch, you know, three, four pound spots like nothing and having that six to eight pound largemouth kicker. Like, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Like, you're not, you're not seeing that size of largemouth coming out of Lanier on if we're going to compare it, compare it to anything, as regular as it's happening on Alatuna right now. No, I, and I'm sure just like in any other lake, you know, there's nine, ten plus pounders swimming around in every oh, single yeah, lake, you know, absolutely. somewhere. But the consistency compared to a lake like where you said Lanier, yeah. compared to Lanier, you, you don't really see a ton of, you know, if you see a seven plus pounder weight in in a Lanier tournament, then you're just kind of, whoa, yeah. you know. But guys, we're talking fish that are two pounds heavier than that that yeah. are coming out of Lanier. And I'm not Nine pluses, man. You know, I'm not that's... sure what's causing it. I guess that the herring population has made a big uptick in size of fish for sure. And a lot of people argue yeah. that the herring ain't going to be able to survive in Alatoona. Oh, yeah, they are. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. I, I'm, we're in the same <laughs> no argument. No problem there. Listen, listen, look at Alatuna me. Has look at me, look at me, look at me. Let me tell you something. Mother Nature will find a yeah. way. <laughs> and Alatoona's water quality is significantly better than Lanier's. It's not even close. And so... I think that herring will have no problem surviving there. I, I'm just really curious, though, why we're seeing such an uptick in quality largemouth specifically. The stocking program, probably from yeah, Alatoona. Probably. You know, it's not exactly common knowledge. You know, yeah. you say something that they've been stocking F1 largemouth in Alatoona, and they look at you like you're crazy. But no, they have been. They've yeah. been stocking them for a little while now. I mean, even last year. So last year, um, I was out there fishing out of Gatewood, mm -hmm. and I caught three four pound spotted bass cranking the little islands and sh and uh points around gatewood in a row like yeah. cast four pound spot cast four pound spot cast four pound spot that's never happened to me before on alatuna yeah and i think that's a direct result of the herring yeah there's, just, there's no doubt about it. the herring are basically the porterhouse steak those of you guys that watch our live well watch our live podcast you've probably heard me say that before i compare blueback herring to being like the porterhouse steak of a lake they yeah. are the they are the supreme diet if you got a lake that has blueback herring in it all the fish grow up yep. they all blow up every yep. single one of them does but you know but talking about the dead sea i really just you know i fished a tournament out there two weeks ago last or excuse me last week my bad i fished a tournament out there last week the weights you know we had eight even previously before eight even would be pushing the wind yeah you know, that would be pushing. We got like sixth or seventh place, I believe, is what we got out of 36 boats. Yeah. You know, to just over nearly 10 and a half pounds yeah. won. But the guys who won, they had an over three and a half pound yeah. largemouth. Yep. I think that's the thing. You know, if you're going to go on, if you're going to go on Alatoona, you're going to fish a tournament, you need to get your spots, get your five limit quick, and then go look for that largemouth kicker. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Head hunting on Alatoona is definitely changing the game yep. because you're just seeing more and more big fish, especially yep. spots, but especially largemouth are coming out of Alatoona. Yep. And it's, I think it's just going to make Alatoona an even better fishery than what it is. Yeah. Dead Sea. I disagree. I disagree I don't think too. It's, a dead sea, it's so. not. It's alive and well. Yeah, it is alive and well. So, guys, listen. That's our opinion. Make sure you leave a comment below. Let us know what you think about Alatuna. Is it the Dead Sea? Is it not the Dead Sea? Do you fish it? Have you ever fished it? 
Do you fish it all the time? Let us know. We want to hear from you guys. Yep. But don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell for more videos like this. And we'll see you guys on the next see one.